Hi, I'm Julia Dare King. I'm the author of Digital Photography for Dummies and for Dummies Guides to Nikon, Canon and Olympus Digital Cameras. The most important tip I can share with you is to always use your camera's flash in outdoor portraits. Now most people would say, why do I need a flash? There's all this bright sunlight. Well the problem is, is the light is coming from overhead. And so that can cause shadows under the eyes and under the nose and under the chin. And if your subject is wearing a baseball cap or a sun hat, the brim is gonna cause an even stronger shadow. So using your onboard flash is going to give you just the right amount of illumination to perfectly light the face. The side benefit of using flash outdoors is that when you mix strong daylight with flash, you usually end up with colors that are a little bit warmer or a little bit more golden than usual. That happens because of the way the camera handles color. When it has two light sources that are different, it sometimes gets fooled and doesn't know how to accurately render the colors. But in this case, having a golden glow on the skin is usually flattering. If you don't happen to like that, check your camera's manual to find out how to adjust the white balance setting, which is what controls that issue. So in order to use the flash in all this bright light, we're going to have to find an exposure mode or a shooting mode that lets us control the flash. Because on most cameras, if you shoot in the fully automatic mode, the camera will control the flash and it's gonna see all this bright light and say, hey, we don't need a flash. I'm not gonna let you use the flash. Even portrait mode, usually won't let you use a flash in bright light, but you can check your manual to see if that's possible. On this camera, I'm going to choose the P mode for programmed automatic mode. And in that mode, the camera still takes care of the exposure for me, can handle everything else for me, but it will let me decide when the flash fires. So after I've chosen that mode, the next thing to do on a camera like this is to actually pop up the flash. I'm gonna press the flash button here. Up goes the flash and we're ready to roll. So now that I have the camera all set up, the next thing I want to think about is where am I going to position her? And as you can see right now, the sun is coming from behind her, but it's creating very uneven lighting. There's strong sunlight here, and there's shadow here. And she may even be squinting a little bit because of that strong sun. And even with the flash, that's not going to even out this lighting. So Katie, let's move you up into the shadow. So the sun is behind you, and it's even lighting all across your face. One thing you want to be sure of is when you're using this little built-in flash, you're not more than about 10 feet away because it's not going to carry the light that far. So I'm going to do a final check of her lighting. I want to look at the background and make sure there's nothing intrusive. For example, this branch right here might show up as something sticking out behind her head, so I'm going to scoot you just a little bit this way to get rid of it. Now we've got a little bit of light on your hair. Let's scoot you back a little. There we go. All right, perfect, Katie. Ready? One, two, three. Awesome, perfect, really nice. So now you know the secret to a great outdoor portrait. It's all in the flash. For more about this topic or any other aspect of digital photography that might be confusing you, check out one of my books.